Let's take a look at the summer edit, the latest drop from New Look. But first, hi, I'm Tiffany of Tip Stitch and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we discuss all things sewing and DIY. In this video, we're gonna take a look at all the patterns that are in this summer drop from New Look. We're gonna start from the lowest number and work our way up to the highest. I'm gonna share my thoughts and hopefully you'll share yours in the comments so we can have further discussion there. First up, we have New Look 6775. This actually reminds me of an old McCall's pattern or maybe it was a quick sew pattern. I can't remember, but um, both of those I think are out of print anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is a really good, easy summer dress to add to your collection if you don't have something like this, especially if you're new to sewing. It's basically gonna be two pieces, your front and your back and then a couple of more pieces for the neck band and the arm band, which is a really nice way to finish off a knit um, armhole and neck hole. So you can see here, it's just like a, a scoop neck, not too deep, just sort of like a round neck with a little bit of flare at the hips, so not super fitted. You can do view B in the short knee length, or you can do view A in the longer, like maxi length. You can see here on the model, it's just easy breezy. You could do it in a bold print, or you could do it in a solid, throw this on with some sandals or some espadrilles and a couple of bangles and some earrings and you are out the door. These is available in an extra extra small to an extra extra large. I think they're all in one envelope. So you could make some for all the women in your family, you, your mom, your daughter, whoever. Um, it goes from a 29 and a half inch bust to a 48 inch bust and from a 31 inch hip to a 50 inch hip, although the hip doesn't really matter as much here. This will definitely work for any stretch knit. They recommend double knits or lightweight double knits, which is basically a ponty. Um, interlock, which I hate, but would work. <laughs> Jersey, spandex blends, a stretch velvet. You could do this in an ITY. You could do it in just any type of knit that would have the amount of stretch that it uses on the stretch guide. This is a super easy one to sew and it's a great dress to just slip on and head out the door. 6776 is another dress that's really just a staple. We'll look at the line drawing here again. You have basically a princess seamed uh, dress here, no waistline seam, and you have two views. You have view B, which is sleeveless, which I think is more appropriate for summer, but everybody doesn't like to show their arms. So you also have view A, which has like sort of a balloon sleeve with a hem band at the bottom. This is gonna be a woven fabric, so you will have an invisible zip at the back. The thing that I do like about these princess seams dress is they are very easy to fit because you have a lot of room to make adjustments in the various seams that you have, the front, the center, the side front, and the side. So like you can make some things here. The V-neck is also pretty flattering on just about everybody. They have it here in a print. Of course, you could do it in a solid. It's going to hit right at the knee because the only difference you have here are the sleeves, not the lengths. Um, this is available in a 10 to an 18. I really wish New Look was a little bit more size inclusive because a 40 inch bust is pretty low to uh, cut off. They also only started at 10. So if you're on the more petite, smaller side, you probably are not going to be able to use this either. But I guess you could always do your own adjustments. This calls for a chali, a crepe back satin. I wouldn't probably make it in a jersey. Um, cottons, I don't know why they specify. Laundered <laughs> denim, linen blends, silk or any kind of silky type, like a rayon chali or a crepe or anything like that. Like any lightweight woven, I think would actually work well for this. So this is a cute uh, dress that you can just throw on for summer if you want something a little bit more stepped up from just like a jersey knit dress. New Look 6777 is actually a re-release of a Vogue pattern. It was Vogue 9075, I believe. Maybe that's out of print and that's why they're re-releasing it. Um, I remember when that pattern dropped, a lot of people made it and it worked really great from them. It did not work great for me, but take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, this has a princess seamed bodice with either a gathered skirt are a pleated pant. Here on the model, you can see the pleated pant. You can see the pleats here in the floral right below the waist. And it has like a short sleeve view. And then the dress has no sleeves with the gathered skirt. Mimi G actually just made the Vogue pattern, which is the same pattern, 
of this um, so you can see it on her Instagram if you'd like to see it there. But this is available in an 8 to a 20, which I think the Vogue pattern had more coverage. So I'm not sure why they do this for new look patterns, but you have it from an 8 to a 20. Um, and then, you know, you can see your fabric measurements here. This pretty much, again, works for any woven fabric. So crepe, I don't get, I, I wouldn't do it in a jersey, but maybe that's just me. A lightweight denim, linen blend. Um, I could see a chambray, I could see a poplin, anything that, you know, you're comfortable with making it in. Uh, and here you can see the line drawing and that's just where you can see you have the gathered skirt or you could do the pleated pants, which are a little cropped. Um, and then of course you could really use the short sleeve on the dress or the jumpsuit. And of course you could omit the sleeve on the jumpsuit if you like, you could do any variation of this. But again, just keep in mind that that leg on the jumpsuit is cropped. It was really cute on a lot of other people. It just did not work for me when I tried to make it. Let me just say for all the new look patterns, I think they're all re-releases of other patterns. I guess that there are patterns that are now out of print that they're just bringing back because this one also looks familiar, but I did not dig up what the pattern number was because it wasn't one that I grabbed the first go around. But let's take a look at the line drawings here. Basically, you have two dress views. One's just a little bit shorter than the other, and you have sort of like a princess seam dart. I don't know how you would describe that. I'll look at the description in a second. But basically, um, you have the curvature of the princess seams that comes out into two smaller darts sort of around the waist, even though there is no waist seam, and you are going to have an invisible zipper in the back. Yep, it just says easy to do, sew dress in two lengths with released pleats. So I guess that's what they're called. So you can see here on the model that it does sort of create just like an interesting look where the pleats let go. Gives you a little bit of fullness and drama in the skirt. And the only difference between view A and view B is the length. View A looks like it hits right below the knee. Oh, hold on. That, yeah, view A looks like it hits right below the knee and then view B would be more of a midi length. Again, you're gonna have limited sizing here from a 10 to a 22, and it's calling for basically, again, any lightweight woven telly, crepe. I don't know why they keep throwing out jersey. I thought, I mean, you could use a knit here, but I just think a jersey would be too light, or a medium weight linen. So this is a cute dress. Um, I like it. It's probably not one that I would grab, but it, I do like the styling. New Look 6779 is a coordinate set that has sort of like a lace corseted looking crop top with a, a paper bag waist pants. Again, seems familiar, but I don't know the pattern number offhand that this would be pulling from. You could see here in the line drawing that again, you're going to have sort of the princess seams. You're going to have a lace up tie front, you're going to have thin spaghetti straps that I would probably change to adjustable, but it's fine. Um, and then you're going to have a wide leg pant with an elastic waist with uh, the extra look of the paper bag on the top with just a little bit of extra fabric there. We can see it here on the model in a bright yellow that's really fun for summer. You are going to be sewing a lot of loops here <laughs> to put those laces through, and then you can see the details of the paper bag waist here as well. This is just showing you the illustrated drawings of what a pattern fabric could be, could look like for this. And then again with the pants. So I do think this is a really cute set if this is like your aesthetic. Um, pull on pants are always easy to sew. And the hardest thing about this bodice is probably going to be the front loops. This one is available from an extra small to an extra large. So if you fit within this, this could be a really great coordinate piece for summer. New Look 6780 is a summer suit pattern. I really like it. It has a shawl collar for the blazer and this sort of off centered one side pocket drop shoulders and like a statement one button at the front. It sort of gives that like Hugh Hefner um cigar lounge smoking jacket kind of thing anyway this is a re-release of simplicity 9468 that blazer pattern includes four views and the one that they picked to use here in the new look release is view c 
um, with that simplicity pattern, you do get those three other views, two that have a lot, a longer length and then some different options with the pockets. But if you just like the simple blazer pattern and you're willing to make the other adjustments, you could definitely just get this new look pattern because it also includes the shorts and pants that are a re-release of Simplicity 8389. Now in that pattern, you have four views as well. You have the shorts like you have here in the new look pattern and you have the pants, but you also have a cropped wide leg pant and then a full length wide leg pant. I have Simplicity 8389 and I actually really like these pants. So I would definitely be a fan of this. If you don't have either one of the previously released Simplicity patterns, I could definitely see you going ahead and grabbing this pattern because you're going to get both looks for the price of one pattern, obviously. Now the sizing here does go from a 10 to a 22. So if you were to buy the pants separately in the simplicity pattern, you would get sizes six and eight as well. And if you were to buy the blazer pattern separately, you would get sizes six and eight plus a 24. So as long as you're within the 10 to 22 side range, and these are the views from those previously released patterns that you like, I would say go ahead and get the new look pattern, save yourself a duplicate pattern. Um, if you already have those patterns though, no need to buy this again. Um, and then, you know, you can just sort of go from there. We can look at the line drawings just to see a little bit more detail here. So like I said, for the blazer, you're going to have a drop shoulder, shawl collar, with the off center, like one uh, asymmetrical kind of pocket, just the pocket on one side. You could of course put the pocket anywhere you wanted. Um, and then for view B, you're gonna have a shorts and these are gonna have uh, some small pleats in the front, gathers in the back with an elastic waist and like this tie. And then view C is essentially the same thing, but in a tapered pant and with an optional fabric belt that you could use as a tie. Again, I really like these pants. I've never made the shawl, but I the blazer, but I think that this is a really cute pattern. And if you don't already have the previous ones, this one's definitely worth a look. New Look 6781 is another set look. You're going to have a blouse here and a pant. This is probably a re-release, but I can't find which one that it would have been. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the pictures here. The Top is just a front button up shirt, but it does have a little bit of interesting detail you can see in here in the line with like a bias inset on the sides to give a little movement, a little um, drape. And so I guess that's cute. I'm not a huge fan of these oversized buttons. Like I would probably want to make more smaller buttonholes, which of course is a modification you could easily make. But the shape of the shirt overall, I think is cute. And the pants are actually very, very simple pull on elastic waist pants. These are basically the same as a pull on pant you would find in any commercial pajama pattern or a free pattern you could find online. Just a pull on wide leg pant. Nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing about this pattern that stands out enough that I would wanna grab it for myself. It does have the same size range as we have for new look patterns. So you're looking at a 10 to a 22. If you fall within that range, this will be perfectly fine. It's a sort of a good basics pattern, but you should probably already have something like this in your collection. New Look 6782 is also a re-release of two previous Simplicity patterns. Um, the top is 9645 and the skirt is 9757. These actually pair quite well together and it sort of gives me the overall vibe of Simplicity. 9757. But with a different top here, let's take a look at the line drawing so you can see the details. Um, this is view C from the original Simplicity pattern, but in this new look pattern, view A has sort of like a raglan detail with the shoulder, uh, the, the back that extends to the front as far as the panels are concerned. And then it has a gathered half length sleeve, like almost elbow length sleeve with ruching at the side that is created by drawstrings. And then view B is just a midi skirt that's straight with an elasticized waist and a side kick slit um, to show a little leg. So you can see here on the model on the top, you can see you sort of have this detail that looks like a raglan or a baseball 
a sleeve here, but you actually have a set in gathered sleeve with the drawstring detail at the side. And then again, you have a sort of midi length skirt here that has a side kick pleat that just allows you to show a little leg and also makes it possible to walk in it. I don't know that I really like these two pieces together. The top has a lot going on for me, but if this is your uh, stilo, then this works. <laughs> this is available in a small to an extra extra large. So I guess they did a little bit better on the on the back end of the pattern sizing here. Um, this is not going to take a lot of fabric. You can use really any kind of stretch knit that will work for the stretch guide on the pattern. So that could be bamboo, interlock, which I hate, ITY, any kind of jersey, a rib knit, basically any knit that just meets, just meets the stretch rule that's on the back of the pattern will work for this. Or conversely, you can get those older simplicity patterns and get more views, but then you'd have to buy two patterns. This is a really quick video because New Look doesn't drop large collections. So I think there are some gems here. Again, I think the new role of New Look is to re-release popular out of print patterns from the other big four patterns. So anything from Simplicity to McCall's to Vogue to probably even Berta, um, if it was a pattern that was popular, they might take it out of print, but then re-release it as new look, maybe to get fresh eyes on it, I suppose. They also do oftentimes, as we pointed out, um, combine two popular views from older patterns together to make a coordinate set. So I do think that's sort of neat. If you've been sewing long enough, you probably have some of these patterns in your stash already. But if you're newer to sewing in the last few years, you may not have some of the original ones. And if they're out of print, this is a great way to not miss out on popular prints that have been released before. So I think this is really great. Let me know um, your thoughts in the comments. If any of these are re-releases that I didn't have the pattern number for, feel free to add that in the comments. Let me know if you have the original views, uh, the original patterns here, or if you'll get these new re-release new look ones. We can chat about it in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you feel uh, so able, please leave a super thanks because any of the money that I earn from these videos, I put right back into bringing you more videos. Until next time, happy sewing.